It's about an hour to sundown. TV producer Viga Nasution has been fasting all day and is now thinking about what to eat to break the fast. She turns to Indonesia's Uber-style app Gojek. She types in her location and books the nearest driver. Gojek driver Budi confirms the booking. But Gojek does more than taking customers to their favorite restaurants. The customers can go about their business while the driver picks up the food. When the food is ready, Budi makes his way to Viga's office and hands the food over to a happy customer. Well, it's convenient for me and then I can break, I can break my fasting at my office and then without going through the traffic jam. Jakarta is infamous for its traffic jam, and during Ramadan, it's even worse. A lot of companies allow their staff to get off work by about 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon so they can beat the rush hour and get home in time for the breaking of the fast. And now it's time to break the fast, and look at how many people who are still stuck in traffic at this hour. And this gridlock has actually gone on for a few hours. A productivity in Ramadan survey says the average one-hour workday reduction in Indonesia costs about 3.8% loss in the country's monthly GDP, or roughly $2.2 billion. That loss is often offset by the increase in consumer spending, especially on food. This is one of the popular markets in Jakarta to buy food for the breaking of the fast. While it looks very busy, this year though, the vendors say they're not making as much as in previous years, an indication that even after fasting all day, Many people have less urge to splurge because money is really tight. Alice Budisatrio, BBC News, Jakarta.